They see the Indian drifting, knife in hand, his frail boat moored to a floating isle, thick matted, with large leaved, low creeping melon plants and the dark cucumber. He reaps and stows them, drifting, drifting, round him, round his green harvest plot, flow the cool lake waves, the mountains ring them. They see the Scythian on the wide step, unharnessing his wheeled house at noon. He tethers his beast down and makes his meal, mare's milk and bread baked on the embers. All around the boundless, waving grass plains stretch, thick starred with saffron and the yellow hollyhock and flag-leaved iris flowers. Sitting in his cart, he makes his meal. Before him for long miles, alive with bright green lizards and the springing bustard fowl, the track, a straight black line, follows the rich soil. Here and there clusters of lonely mounds, topped with rough-hewn grey, rain-bleared statues, overpeer the sunny waste. They see the ferry on the broad, clay-laden, lone Karasmian stream. They're on with snort and strain, two horses strongly swimming, tow the ferry boat, with woven ropes to either bow, firm harnessed by the main. A chief, with shout and shaken spear, stands at the prow and guides them. But astern, the cowering merchants in long robes sit pale beside their wealth of silk bales and of balsam drops, of gold and ivory, of turquoise earth and amethyst, jasper and chalcedony, and milk-barred onyx stones. The loaded boat swings, groaning in the yellow eddies. The gods behold them. They see the heroes sitting in the dark ship on the foamless, long-heaving violet sea at sunset nearing the happy islands. These things, Ulysses, the wise bards also behold and sing. But, oh, what labour, O oh, prince, what pain! They too can see Tiresias, but the gods who give them vision added this law, that they should bear too his groping blindness, his dark foreboding, his scorned white hairs, bear Hera's anger through a life lengthened to seven ages. They see the centaurs on Pelion, then they feel, they too, the maddening wine swell their large veins to bursting. In wild pain they feel the biting spears of the Gram Lapithae, and Theseus drive, drive crashing through their bones. They feel High on a jutting rock in the red stream, Alcmena's dreadful son ply his bow. Such a price the gods exact for song, to become what we sing. They see the Indian on his mountain lake, but squalls make their skiff reel, and worms in the unkind spring have gnawn their mellow harvest to the heart. They see the Scythian, but long frosts parch them in winter time on the bare steppe. 
till they too fade like grass, they crawl like shadows forth in spring. They see the merchants on the Oxus stream, but care must visit first them too and make them pale. Whether through whirling sand a cloud of desert robber horse have burst upon their caravan, or greedy kings in the walled cities the way passes through, crushed them with tolls, or fever airs on some great river's marge, mown them down far from home. They see the heroes near harbour, but they share their lives and former violent toil in Thebes, seven-gated Thebes or Troy, or where the echoing oars of Argo first startled the unknown sea. The old Silenus came lolling in the sunshine from the dewy forest coverts this way at noon, sitting by me, while his fawns down at the waterside sprinkled and smoothed his drooping garland, he told me these things. But I, Ulysses, sitting on the warm steps, looking over the valley, all day long have seen, without pain, without labour, sometimes a wild-haired minad, sometimes a fawn with torches, and sometimes for a moment passing through the dark stems, flowing robed, the beloved, the desired, the divine, beloved Earchus. Ah, cool night wind, tremulous stars, Ah, glimmering water, fitful earth murmur, dreaming woods, Ah, golden-haired, strangely smiling goddess, And thou proved much enduring, wave-tossed wanderer, Who can stand still? Ye fade, ye swim, ye waver before me, the cup again. Faster, faster, O Circe, goddess, let the wild thronging train, the bright procession of eddying forms sweep through my soul.